we've come here today to mourn a great noble son of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable be what instill the following to me and all of you. Instill sense of love, sense of caring, sense of character, sense of forgiveness. Your Excellency the President, today I'm going to say his wish. Allow me that. Your Excellency, this is a man I accompany him in head of state and government in government jobs. One, he was gifted, he had amazing talent from God, he was intelligent, he was competent, and he follows the rules of law of this country. He served this country with distinction. He served this nation with humility, with determination. And wherever we travel all over the world, especially Comesa, Hagoa, and East Africa, he negotiated, he engaged the bilateral and multilateral, and we won. We won in the sense of logical conclusion in give and take, give and take. Your Excellency, if there's any human soul who was alive, who really believed in you, he believed in His Excellency President, uh, Deputy President Ruto, his honorable be what? That I can vouch and I can because there is no human soul who share a lot with him. In fact, Honey B. Ward said, in his, in our 24-7 hours, half of the time was working with Moy. Half of my time, I was working for Honorable B. Ward. <laughs> I'm humble, and I thank God that he granted me the opportunity, the privilege to serve him. And I served him with the highest degree of military position. <laughs> Your Excellency, in the interest of time, in the interest of time, since I'm reasonable, I know what it takes when he landed. I'm the only person who saved me because I died. And it is important for me to say in your presence, he saved me, Dr. Musawi is here, he saved me. And I'm proud of him, I'll pray for him, my children will pray for him, Kenyans will pray for him, America will pray for him, Uganda will pray for him. <laughs> Your Excellency, and this is what I will, I will say, because if I don't say, God will curse me. <laughs> he requested, and he talked to Mosonic, but we've not had the opportunity to talk to you, but we, when we were in Bome, you gave us an appointment, the four of us. We talked with lawyer Gepkenda, and he knows that one. Honorable Biwot deposited Uru Kenyatta in his own heart. <laughs> Your Excellency, to wind up, you know when he landed from abroad, he called me personally. He called the sister Jane, and he called me. 
He told me, William, where are you? And you know me, I always tell him nothing but the truth. I told him, I'm in Munyaka. Who are you with? I'm with Councillor Mbare. Who is Mbare? I told him he was the cooperative officer of Keio, but he, he resides in Munyaka. He told me, can you give me? Because he was practical. He talked with him. He talked with him and he told him. He knows Kikuyu. Then he told him, Fair President Uru Kenyatta Kura, Nayo Kejanango Jeku, Ben Ye Kura. So, and you know, Excellency, if I don't say, God will curse me. You know, even Excellency Ruta knows we met at home. And today, since we are, I want them to rest in peace, but let these people be elected. Let Uru Kenyatta be elected. Tolkos, William J. Cook, and Tati Ford.